guys and gals welcome welcome to the show we've been going for a good while already but now it's finally starting to get Speed limit reduced daylight ahead. enough to where we can uh, start making videos again right that's right I'm actually uh, coming up to Chicago area right now we're uh, very very close to it anyways and I do appreciate you guys tuning in again today, I really do. Yes, I do. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to make me a pit stop out here in uh, Lake Station or if I'm going to go all the way up to the other side of Chicago and make me a pit stop over there. Maybe we'll do both, we'll see. I am starting to get a little bit hungry, so I am kind of thinking about uh, pulling in over here and uh, Maybe having me breakfast, that would be kind of nice. All right, 60 speed limit, all right. Let's speed her up a little bit. That's for the trucks anyways. So yeah. Keep to the left on We're, uh, west. Still seeing a lot of clouds out there. I know, I know. It even drizzled a little bit this morning too. And the wife said it was snowing pretty good at the house this morning. Not really looking forward to that, especially with this load that I have on here now. I have a really, really light load on here. I don't really want to do that when it's heavy snowfall, but whatever. It is what it is. But we will have to fuel up here somewhere. So I'm thinking I have enough fuel to make it to the other side of Chicago. So I will definitely go out to the other side of Chicago and I will uh, fuel up over there at the Loves. I know, earlier my GPS was telling me to take this exit, now it's telling me different. I don't know why it's doing that, but it never really likes me going, going this way, so I'm just going to mute it because it's going to start screaming at me, take this exit, take that exit, blah blah blah, it wants me to go downtown Chicago, right? I certainly don't want to go downtown Chicago. I mean, yeah, today would not be a bad day to do it. I mean, it's Saturday. I could easily do it, but I don't really feel like doing that today. <laughs> this ramp was closed for a while because they were redoing this bridge. Now it's finally uh, reopened. And I am finally in the area where they don't have no gates, so I can actually just hammer through the easy pass lanes and they'll send a invoice to penners right but up there in Indiana and all of that I mean I'm still in Indiana but all over there in Indiana Ohio and all that stuff every toll booth I have to stop I have to show them my easy pass and then can you please enter that manually because this you know, reader or the transmitter isn't working right so it's been a pain in the royal butt this week but what can I say eh, yeah you know what I'm gonna go in here to the flying J and I'll probably go in and have me breakfast I'm kind of hungry so let's go in here I know we had a big supper last night but you know it's 10 o'clock central time already right and I could have started my video a little sooner I just I guess I didn't feel like it just yet, right? And now we turned it on and here we are. You know, it looks like it's not too many people feeling up there today, but... Anyhow, let's go in there and have us breakfast, guys. Alrighty, guys, I had me that little bit of a pit stop there Stay earlier right and uh, went all the way through uh, Chicago already. And uh, now I'm up here to... Uh, well, just before South Beloit, and I'm uh, going to be going in here to fuel up at this Love's truck stop. I like fueling at the Love's, right? So I figured ah, I'll go in here, and then I'll go in and take me a shower. Yeah, we need that too. And then continue on with our journey. We still have 775 miles to go until we get home, so I got 5 hours and 30 minutes remaining right now, so 
Should be able to get a good distance in yet today. Probably, I would say another 300 miles. Yeah, are very close to that. So that brings us right down to 500 miles. That'd be awesome. Come on, light change already. We've been here for a while. There we go. There we go. Now we can go and go to the loves and get our go go juice. That's right. And take a shower, like I said. So let's go in here and see if we can do that. Looks like there's a little bit of a line up there with trucks. Probably a few trucks ahead of me, but oh well. That's just how it goes, right? Everybody's trying to get fuel over here, I guess. All right, we're getting in another red light. <laughs> I guess it's red light day today. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. Just finished taking care of my business up here, guys. As you guys can see, we got us a very much needed shower done. Now it's time to get back on the road and uh, yeah. Get the rest of the miles in, right? And it is almost looking like it is starting to uh, clear up a little bit with them clouds up there. They're starting to, uh, I guess, separate a little bit more. Almost felt like my nose is wanting to bleed here on the scratch. I guess after that uh, shower, it. Uh, just feels like, ahead. oh come on, shut up already. After the shower, I guess it peeled off or whatever. Now it's a little sensitive, I guess, but I didn't realize that they were gonna have this uh, sort of like a truck stop across the street here done already. Last time I was here, it didn't look like they were gonna get it done in the next little while. And here we go, now they're open. Looks like they got about 10 or 12 truck parking spots there. Originally I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but fortunately it is not. It is not. The way they got it designed, they don't really want trucks parking in there in my opinion. That's how it looks. Looks to me like they just uh, want to uh, get your business, come in and take care and leave you know that's what it looks like to me but anyways we're almost out of Illinois we got three more miles and we'll be in Wisconsin yeah so let's hammer down guys and see how far we can make it alrighty guys I had to take the filter off of the uh, looking out camera there so uh, sky may not be quite as visible right now but uh, it is a little bit starting to get a little bit darker out here so I have to take it off so you guys can actually see something right anyways I just figured it out here on the GPS that uh, I got exactly two hours to get up to Wilson Wisconsin so that should mean I should get there at six o'clock tonight and so uh, I could technically go on uh, get through Minneapolis tonight but the problem is by the time I get there on the other side it'd be probably 7 7 30 maybe and uh, I could only go as far as Rogers Minnesota which is just barely on the other side which is mile marker 207 there is a TA truck stop there, but I'm really, really worried that that truck stop is always full, right? So, if I pushed it through and made it up there and it's full, then I'm kind of screwed, right? I, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere, so uh, I'm going to play it safe and I'm just going to go up to Wilson like I originally thought. I was only going to be able to make it up to there, but... I looked it up and I still have three hours and seven minutes remaining and I only got to do another two hours to get up to Wilson so uh, yeah oh well in all reality that's fine too I get there around six o'clock and uh, I guess what I could do is just get up and get going at 4 30 in the morning you know by the time you do your pre-trip and all that stuff right 
So yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing is just go up to Wilts and then call it a day. And yeah, I thought we were gonna get to see some sunshine yet today, but apparently that ain't the case. I don't know what happened, but we got quite a bit of snow apparently at the house this overnight and this morning. So I'm kind of glad I did actually do the reset there because if I would have probably gotten closer to home today, or maybe even made it home today, the roads might have been terrible. But I think it's kind of disappeared right now. So hopefully the roads won't be too bad tomorrow, but I know usually around Christmas time, we always get snow. Maybe around the 24th, 25th, we always, always we get snow. It's almost guaranteed that we will get snow on that day. Like, I don't remember any Christmas that it hasn't snowed on the 24th, for sure. I mean, it's almost a guarantee that that's going to happen, but... Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and hammer down and get down to uh, Wilson. Yes, indeed, we will. I have now made it down to Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, and... It's looking like it could start snowing here any minute. We already got a little bit of ice rain. So I'm not sure exactly how the roads are going to be tomorrow morning. But my plan is to get up pretty early in the morning. Because it's, uh, well, a little bit before uh, 6 o'clock. And so uh, that means, uh, yeah, quarter to 6 so that means quarter to four tomorrow morning we can start going on duty already that means we've had our 10 hour break so guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go go to bed really early today and then uh i'm gonna get up super early tomorrow morning and get going so that way i'll be uh, through minneapolis before the rush hour and uh, that also means uh, i'll be home tomorrow early afternoon right because it's uh 510 miles from here to go home so that should be uh, pretty neat and then we'll be home for Christmas yeah I'm really looking forward to that so let's go ahead and get out of here get a good night's sleep hopefully and uh, see you guys tomorrow have a great day everybody and don't be uh, you know getting ready you guys are probably getting ready for the New Year's right so don't be uh, celebrating too much especially don't be doing any drinking and driving guys you really shouldn't be doing that. So anyhow, have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.